Hey everyone, and welcome back to this class, Modern Deep Learning in Python, Deep Learning in Python, Part 2. In this lecture, we're going to implement batch norm in PyTorch. As you'll see, this is going to be very, very simple. As with Dropout, there will be only three main changes. The relevant file for this lecture is PyTorch batch norm.py in the course repo. So firstly, again, in order to make this script, I copied and pasted everything from PyTorch example 2.py. So this script is going to be very similar to that, and all we are interested in in this lecture is what changed. So just like the dropout lecture, all I need to do is add some batch norm layers. Since this is a feed forward neural network and our data is one dimensional, we use the batch norm 1D class. In later courses, we'll be using different kinds of neural networks like convolutional neural networks, which work on images and images are of course 2D objects. So we'll have a different kind of batch norm for those classes. And also remember that batch norm happens after the linear transformation, but before the activation function. So people have experimented with different orderings. So this is not the only possibility, but it's the most common. In any case, this is still very easy. We just add some batch norm layers to the neural network. Next, just like dropout, we have a small change to our train function. Remember that batch norm also has two different modes of operation, one for train and one for test. So in train mode, we update the running mean and variance, but in test mode, we do not. So we call the train function on the model, and this sets it to train mode. And now every layer within the model also knows it is in train mode and can behave accordingly. And also like before, I want to call model.eval in my get cost and predict functions so that I can switch to evaluation mode. After this, everything remains the same. So let's run this and see what we get. 